Please stand. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our celebration of this Mass on this Thursday of the fifth week of Easter. Today's Mass intention is being offered for the repose of the souls of Bob and Mary McGee and Linda Serrado. Entrance antiphone. Let us sing to the Lord, for he has gloriously tri triumphed. The Lord is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, of her virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, by whose grace those sinners we are made just and though pitiable, made blessed stand we pray by your works stand by your gifts that those justified by faith may not lack the courage of perseverance through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit god forever and ever A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After much debate had taken place, Peter got up and said to the apostles and the presbyters, My brothers, you are well aware that from early days God made his choice among you that through my mouth the Gentiles would hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God, who knows the heart, bore witness by granting them the Holy Spirit just as he did us. He made no distinction between us and them, for by faith he purified their hearts. Why then are you now putting God to the test by placing on the shoulders of the disciples a yoke that neither our ancestors nor we have been able to bear? On the contrary, we believe that we are saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus in the same way as they. The whole assembly fell silent and they listened while Paul and Barnabas described the signs and wonders God has worked, had worked among the Gentiles through them. After they had fallen silent, James responded, My brothers, Listen to me. Simeon has described how God first concerned himself with acquiring from among the Gentiles a people for his name. The words of the prophets agreed with this, as is written. After this, I shall return and rebuild the fallen hut of David. From its ruins, I shall rebuild it and raise it up again so that the rest of humanity may seek out the Lord, even all the Gentiles on whom my name is invoked. Thus says the Lord, who accomplishes these things known from of old. 
It is my judgment, therefore, that we ought to stop troubling the Gentiles who turn to God, but tell them by letter to avoid pollution from idols, unlawful marriage, the meat of strangled animals, and blood. For Moses, for generations now, has had those who proclaim him in every town as he has been read in the synagogues every Sabbath. The word of the Lord. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations. Among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Tell, oh, proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the, pe the peoples with equity. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. God so loved us that he sent us his only son to be our expiation from the sins that we have committed. Little do we know how much that meant to the Father that you and I are worth that much to be saved. And not only that, his love was poured upon us by giving us, the, through the Holy Spirit given to us, and so, with that spirit given to us, who is love itself, moved our hearts then to listen to what God has to say to us. And that same spirit is what, who will help us discern the will of God for our lives. And if we are able to uh, quiet ourselves and listen attentively, then we would know, because the Holy Spirit will not... Uh, sway us from any other way rather than do what the Lord commands us to. And doing so, Jesus reminded us and assured us that doing God's will will help us remain in God and God in us. And not only that, he promised that if we remain in him, joy will be given to us to the full. The greatest joy of all will be attained by you and me. But maybe this kind of joy that uh, we have encountered and experienced are those times that we know 
God has moved us because we made a difference in someone's life. Maybe just by the smile that we gave or words of encouragement or even the visit, saying nothing but just the presence that we brought to that person. Or maybe just moment of being in the presence of God, especially in the Eucharist, having that faith and trust that truly God is present, body, soul, and divinity, and when he enters into our hearts through communion, that we will be changed radically, even feel the joy within. Please stand. With humility and confidence, let us bring before the Lord our prayers and petitions for ourselves and the world. For bishops throughout the world, may the Holy Spirit continue to animate them in their proclamation of the gospel, we pray to the Lord. For civic leaders, may the Lord light a pathway for their prudent and just decision-making in service of the common good, we pray to the Lord. For all who struggle with mental illness, may the Lord surround them with a community of loving care and acceptance. And also we pray for all the sick, especially members of our community who are still going through their um, treatment and in surgeries that they're anticipating. But most of all, those who are infected by coronavirus, that God will offer them healing and strength. For them, we pray to the Lord. For all members of this community, may the Spirit rejuvenate our faith and strengthen our commitment to the gospel. We pray to the Lord. That through that same Spirit, may his love permeate the hearts of those who are still in a misunderstanding of the value of each person and their races, especially that may that there's end to racism and violence among peoples. For this we pray to the Lord. For all who have died, especially our loved ones who have gone before us, we remember this time. Four members of our community have died recently. And for the repose of the souls of <clears throat> Bob and Mary McGee and <clears throat> Linda Serrado, may the Lord welcome them with joy into the eternal presence. We pray to the Lord. <clears throat> and for our own intentions that we now pray in silence. For all these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, we trust that you always hear us, and we ask that you answer these petitions in accordance with your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, 
fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation all, at all times, to proclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself, by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Bob, Mary, and Linda, whom you have called from this world to yourself, Grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Peter Claver and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be. For those joining us in live streaming, let us now pray the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray.
Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord, amen. amen. Thank you, my, my dear people, for coming here and for your presence. And thank you for joining us, for those of you joining us in live streaming. Let us continue to pray for each other and for our community and for the rest of the world that there will be an end to this pandemic. Just want to also invite you. Today is the Thursday before first Friday, so we have confession from 4 to 5 p.m. out there in the plaza. By my, I will be by myself, so please come if you need to. Um, tomorrow we have the 7.30 Mass in the morning. And again, we are here in person. And at 7 p.m., we have the Holy Hour of Divine Mercy. And that's also open to the public. And we will still live stream it for those who cannot join us because of for whatever reason. So thank you once again, and have a wonderful day today. The Lord be with you. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.